This is a little, probably Midland painted turtle. Really awesome catch of the day. First catch of the day. Look at the red belly and everything. I'm pretty sure it is actually a Midland because of the pattern. All right, so my brother actually just got the second one, which is absolutely amazing. That's a little bit larger than the actual first one. As you guys can see, the first one is actually right there. The second one is right there. You guys take a look at the difference between the head patterns on them. So they, we might have two different kinds of painted turtles because we have two subspecies, the Midland and the Eastern. Yeah. And they look pretty much similar, so I'm not exactly sure. All right, there's the back of the shell. Awesome little critters. All right, my brother just caught his lifer trout. I'm not sure exactly what kind this is, but pretty sure it is a trout. So he's about nine inches. Well, you guys, I'm definitely skunked today, but my brother was able to get those two paint turtles and that trout, which is awesome. And then I did get a second panfish, which I didn't show you guys. And then look what he just caught. The third painted turtle of the trip. All right, you guys, so finally I got something awesome. This is an amazing female American bullfrog. Look at those spots. You can tell by the eardrums and everything. And I'm um, well, just take a look at that thing. Absolutely amazing. Let's get a release. All right, you guys, take a look at this beautiful panfish I just caught. We're going to go ahead and let them on go. These are definitely some sizable panfish that we are going to be going after, as you can see. So we're actually about to let go of the painted turtles, and as you guys can see right there, there is actually a snapping turtle, common snapping turtle, just chilling right there. That is actually one that I almost caught once, but didn't want to fully go in the water, so um, I definitely do recognize him because of his kind of greenish shell, and we're going to go ahead and leave him alone because he's a bit too far out, so let's go ahead and keep her going. Alright guys, take a look at all these American toad tadpoles. Look at all them flee, because I think we're going to eat them. Don't worry, you won't. Take a look at that, you guys. It's absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, take a look at all four of the turtles that we caught. My brother actually caught three of them. I did end up catching one of them, which is really nice. And, um, yeah, take a look at them. I'm not sure if they're exactly all Midland painted turtles because some of them have a little bit of a different coloration and coloring and pattern and all that stuff. So I'm not exactly sure, but we're definitely going to go ahead and get these guys back in the water now. And take a look at the back of these little guys' heads. They're absolutely so cute. I wish we could keep them, but um, sadly we don't really have the proper setup. We could keep them if we wanted to. They're not um, endangered or anything like that. So we could if we wanted, but um, we're just going to let them go just for the good of nature. And so they can continue bringing on their population of painted turtles here in Wisconsin. And so we never actually showed off the pattern of the last one, so that is actually the last one right there. That is the one that I ended up catching. We didn't get it on film right away, but there's kind of the back of the show, once again, the turtle on the right. My brother caught the three kind of lighter yellow ones, and I caught that really deep red one, which is so cool. Let's go ahead and get him in the water. All right, guys, let's watch as these little painted turtles get back on into the water and hopefully continue their species. And so yeah guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you guys think of us finding a little nest of recently hatched out painted turtles.